Be glad you're with us tonight. I'm Darren Kramer. I'm Ann Nyberg. Ann Craig is on maternity leave. That accident happened around 9.30 this morning. We've just learned the truck had some type of mechanical failure and the driver lost control. He hit a bridge, losing his load of fuel. The whole thing started a huge fire. The highway shut down in both directions near exit 16 in Meriden for a lot of the day. Tonight, some cars are getting by on the southbound and northbound sides. But as News 8's Noel Gardner tells us, still has a long way to go before the road is back to normal. Noel. Yeah, Darren and Ann, they've had their work cut out for them. We've been on the scene all day, but some good news to report this evening. Two lanes are now back open on I-91 northbound in Meriden between exits 15 and 16 for all of you guys heading home from work. Those two lanes are now reopened and crews are trying to reopen that third lane. So they're busy here uh, trying to clear the road. They've been clearing debris and they had to clear that surface because there's a lot of oil there, 2,500 gallons spilled. Now, according to state police, they say the driver lost control of the truck because of a mechanical failure. Now, that truck struck the Murdoch overpass between exits 15 and 16 on the northbound side and lost its load after colliding with the embankment. Now, the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection talked about the process they used to remove all that oil. What we'll do is we'll remove all free oil from the highway surface and then basically we, we would sand we would sand the area for basically it's really a traction issue at this point. Okay. You know what the heat is hot as it is right yeah. now, so there's gonna be a certain amount of evaporation that takes place too. And a driver of a car actually went through the flames. That car melted, and the driver of that Subaru is okay tonight, was not injured. And the driver of that tanker, he will be okay. He was admitted to the hospital, and I talked to the company this evening. They said that he is in a hospital room, so he will be okay. He has non-life-threatening injuries. I'm live tonight in Meriden, Noel Gardner, News 8.